Hello everyone. Welcome back to AR Study Desk. In this video, we'll be discussing the topic sections of solids. What is mean by sectioning a solid? It is nothing but cutting the solid using a section plane. There are five types of section planes. We'll discuss all these section planes one by one. Consider a cylinder which is resting on HP on its circular base in the first quadrant. Now, this is a section plane which is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. You can see that this section plane is parallel to HP. And if I extend this section plane till here, the angle made by VP and this section plane will be 90 degrees. So that is why it is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP. Now let us see what happens to this solid if I cut using this section plane. Just watch. Now you can see the remaining portion of the cylinder in which you will get a circular cross section at the top. Am I right? Now, we will see how to draw this on a sheet of paper. Draw the XY line, draw the top view and front view of the complete cylinder using thin lines. Because we will use thick lines only for the remaining portion of the cylinder. Okay. Now, in all the questions on sections of solids, we will be representing the section plane using a line in the orthographic projection. So, you should check in which view you can see this section plane as a line. So, this section plane which is parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP can be seen as a line in the front view and that line will be above the XY line. Am I right? So, you can draw that section plane over here like this. Now, I will draw two arrows like this. The significance of these two arrows is that if you view in the direction of this arrow, you can see the true shape of this section that you get here. So, when you view from the top, you can see the true shape that you get here. Now, you can complete the remaining portion of the cylinder using thick lines. In the top view, the remaining portion will be a circle like this as you can see here and these hatch lines which are at 45 degrees shows that the section plane has passed through that area. Now in the front view, the remaining portion of the cylinder is shown by these thick lines. This is called the true shape of the section. Hope the section plane parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP is clear to you. This is just the concept. When you work out a problem, you will name the solid and also the points where the section plane cuts the solid. Hope the concept is very clear to you. Now we shall see the next section plane. This is again the cylinder resting on its base on HP. And this section plane is parallel to VP and perpendicular to HP. Now let us see how this section plane cuts the solid. So let us see how to draw this on a paper. Draw the XY line. Draw the complete cylinder using thin lines. Now this section plane can be seen as a line in the top view. So you will draw the section plane as a line in the top view and you know that the section plane is parallel to VP so that it will be parallel to XY line in the top view. So look at this. This is the section plane. 
in which direction will you draw the arrow so what is the significance of the arrows when you view in the direction of these arrows you get the true shape of the section formed so that you will draw the arrows in this direction because in the front view you get the true shape now you can mark the remaining portion of the cylinder using thick lines this is the remaining portion of the cylinder in the top view similarly in the front view this is the remaining portion of the cylinder in which the hatch lines shows the area where the solid and the section plane comes in contact this shaded portion is the required true shape of the section hope the section plane parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp is clear to you now we shall move to the next section plane again you have the cylinder resting on hp this is our next section plane which is inclined to hp and perpendicular to vp as you can see it is inclined to hp and the angle made by this plane and vp is 90 degrees i'll tell you that in detail so let us see how this section plane cuts the solid now if you measure the angle made by this section plane with vp this angle is nothing but 90 degrees but there is some inclination made by the section plane with hp hope it is clear now in which view can you see this section plane as a line it is very clear that you can see an inclined line in the front view now let us see how to represent this in the drawing x y line projection of the complete cylinder using thin lines now as i said this section plane can be seen as a line in the front view but it will be inclined to hp so you will mark the section plane here in the front view but inclined like this now we'll discuss something which is very important if i view in which direction will i get the true shape of this section is it in the top view no why because when you view from the top this section plane is inclined to the direction of viewing so you will get the true shape in the top view only if the section plane is perpendicular to the direction of viewing so if the section plane was like this horizontal in the top view you would have got the true shape of the section here but here the section plane is inclined like this so you should view perpendicular to the section plane so the direction of the arrows will be like this hope the idea is clear now draw the remaining portion of the cylinder using thick lines in the top view you can see the hatch lines why because in the top view you can see this area through which the section plane passes this is called the sectional top view of the solid because this is not the true shape in order to get the true shape you need to have some extra constructions over here which is discussed while solving the problems in the app hope it is clear now we will move to the next section plane here the section plane is inclined to vp and perpendicular to hp now let us see how this section plane cuts the solid you can see that this angle which the section plane makes with the hp is 90 degrees and it is inclined to vp now in the drawing this section plane can be seen as a line in the top view you should draw the section plane over here 
but you know that it is inclined to VP so that it will be inclined like this. Here, as we studied in the previous question, you have to view perpendicular to the section plane so as to get the true shape of the section. So the direction of viewing will be like this. Now you can mark the remaining portion of the cylinder using thick lines. And in the front view, the area shaded with hatch lines shows the portion of the cylinder which comes in contact with the section plane. This is called the sectional front view of the solid. To get the true shape of this section, we have to do some extra constructions over here which is discussed along with the problems in the app. Now let us move to the last type of section plane. This section plane is perpendicular to both HP and VP. As you can see, here this angle is 90 as well as the angle made with HP is also 90. So what happens when it cuts the solid? Here, it is very clear that in both the top and front views, you can see this section plane as a line. And you won't be able to see the true shape of the section either in the front view or in the top view but in the side view. Now in the drawing this section plane can be seen as a line in both the views like this. As we can see the true shape only in the side view you should draw the arrows like this. And if I complete the remaining portion of the solid using thick lines, it will be like this. And you have to view in the side view to see the true shape of the section. The procedure to draw the side view with the true shape is discussed along with the problems in our app. Hope the topic sections of solids is very clear to you. You can subscribe our app which is available in the Google Play Store and get access to a number of questions on sections of solids. Thank you for watching. Happy learning.